Uh, I'm Weston Wagner, and today I'm getting baptized. I'd definitely say my parents, um, they both sacrificed a ton to put me through Christian schooling my entire life. Uh, we've always been coming to Village Bible Church. I've always been involved here and they've always pushed me to be involved. And I'm just really thankful that I've been able to grow up in a Christian household in a Christian worldview and see things from the Christian perspective my entire life. So. Yeah, so I, I submitted my life to Christ about a year ago, but I was still not seeking to like grow in my faith until the beginning of college. It was kind of just like a point for me like to like reflect where I'm at. Like it's not like my parents' faith, it's like my faith. So it's like it's like what like where do I want to go with like my walk with the Lord. That's Galatians 6, 7 through 8, which says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit from the Spirit will reap eternal life. And for me, that's just like, that's just like impactful to me, like reflecting on everything. Like if I'm sowing, if I'm sowing things in my life that are just like pleasing to my flesh and not seeking to grow in my faith, then I'm just like headed in the wrong direction. And so, yeah, just reading that kind of made me think, like, I want to be sowing things that are going to please the Spirit in my life. Just wherever the Lord takes me, I don't really see, I don't really have anything, like, set in stone right now. So wherever the Lord takes me, I'm good with that. Well, good morning, friends. Pastor Phil uh, is who I am, and I have a great privilege uh, to be here with Weston and to baptize him. Uh, what an honor it is to baptize uh, all these uh, individuals to praise Jesus with them. But Weston, I am so thankful for your, your faith. I'm so thankful for your profession. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we are so thankful uh, for Weston and Gracie and Miles. And, and Lord, we're just thankful that they love you so much and that they want to tell the world about their love for you uh, through baptism. And Lord, thank you for their families, uh, which is evident that they are living for you, loving you, praising your name, teaching uh, the next generation. And we are so thankful for that. May we, Lord, as a church, uh, come behind these families and these individuals and continue to encourage and spur them on. Uh, Lord, we pray for a special blessing upon each of them and each of their families. We praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.